Welcome back to the channel guys, Crypto Lightsaber again, um, just want to talk to you a little bit about Koti. Uh, before we do, I might as well give you an update on Safe Haven. This morning uh, we were looking like we were going to get a breakout, okay, the breakout didn't come as of yet, I've had to readjust my lines because I had them, I had this triangle drawn a little bit like that and I thought that the breakout would have been over there, um, sometimes you have to adjust all right and if we adjust it and bring it up to the top of this bar okay um with the little wick there's a little bit of a fake out we have seen that it's come back down to retest the line obviously no i got in over here all right and we saw a little bit of a fake out uh, a shake out all right and it got brought back up all right and then you see it continued down where it has found the support and um, we can see that it is holding the support very well all right and now we're getting that uh, impulse hopefully we can get a breakout now because we are reaching the apex of the triangle and i wouldn't want to see it break to the downside as you can see it's quite similar to this triangle here with the ascending line of the su uh, of support and we get it bouncing around and eventually almost near the apex of the triangle we get the breakout and we get a lot of upside okay so that's what i'm expecting with this uh i'm going to come back up get rejected a little bit come back and then we, um, you know break that to the upside we also have the horizontal resistance just over here okay which would break it back into price discovery if we break that level then hopefully a lot more upside we need to see it hold above that level and continue to the upside all right so that's just an update on safe haven from this morning hopefully if you did get in you didn't get shaken out by that little uh, that little pull back back to support there all right guys so yeah going back to Cody, Cody is looking really nice it's about to hit my target so I do believe that it could see a little bit of a rejection and it could even come back down here to give you a second opportunity to get in um, as we speak now we're starting to get a little bit of movement as well and I've always said guys if you go back in the videos I'll tell you like Cody is a bit of a slow mover all right but these small moves they don't they look small but they're not that small okay if we go from the bottom here okay let's just uh, try that again all right if we go from the bottom here all right Cody is currently up around 600 percent okay and even some of the, these small moves just in between support and resistance yeah it's like 50 percent moves guys you know 40 50 percent all right so Cody has been holding this trend line previously and then we see it beginning to get a bit stronger so we have to adjust the trend line all right and that's why so you've got the pink trend line is the old trend line the red trend line is the new trend line that's an indication of the chart structure becoming stronger okay which is a bullish aspect for me all right if we do break above this level i do expect us to hold that level but yeah like i like i say you know we could get a rejection here uh we could get a retest back down to this support before trying to come back in and test that resistance again we could just continue sideways for a little while before breaking up but um yeah this resistance is very is very thin you know there's not a lot there that's the only history that we've got with it all right and um yeah if we do break that um what you can see is there's a difference in the price action as well um over here over here on the coating chart this is the biggest candle week that we can see if we took not talking about over here the biggest this is the largest candle right and we've not seen anything like that below these levels it's all these small movements small movements okay so once we do break this level i do believe there might be a little bit more volatility okay to the upside a bit more aggressive price action um, just based on the fact that it's breaking that level and it's not been there it's not been up through there for at least uh, since July 2019 so we're looking at what um, a year just over a year okay a year and a month all right so if we do break into that level the chart is going to be doing something that it hasn't done in a little while okay and I believe we're going to get it Cody is one of my favorites definitely a long-term hold all right I do believe in a long-term potential but why am I talking about Cody today we just put some news out 
about paywise all right now this they did mention this the other day all right and this is a credit card processing um uh, um uh, service all right it's a subsidiary of Koei that offers credit card processing for merchants there's a video that you can watch and if you do want to see this video all you need to do is go to Koei's twitter all right and right now it's the second tweet down click on that link and it will take you straight to the video and you can watch that it's about 30 minutes long but we'll explain paywise to you a little bit better than what i can okay um so yeah what is paywise it's basically a payment service working with merchants now one of the things is is that it's already working with 24 banks globally and everyone's talking about um mainstream adoption and stuff like that well that's what that that's what this is if you think about it you look at xrp something like xrp or stella or whatever and you look at them and you think oh they're working with the banks well this is exactly what Cody's is doing but they're doing it with a little bit more style and they're doing it a little bit more behind the scenes and um i mean Cody, they describe themselves as the the ultimate power grid of payments and one thing actually that i want to show you is this um this is their um I've lost the word but right this is a this is a simulation right the distributed ledger okay and they, they call it a cluster right you've got the blue which is the uh the, the validated transactions orange which is the source and the black is the confirmed transactions right and you can see how big that is right and why i'm talking about this is i want to show you the speed all right so each transaction that is processed makes it it makes makes the makes the this the, the system speed up all right so just for the sake of education i'm going to refresh this page so you can see one of these clusters start from the beginning all right and it is a simulation at the end of the day it might work out a little bit differently in real life okay but here you can see the cluster beginning all right and then what we do is by the time we get to the end of the end of the video we'll come back and we'll show you how big that cluster is in just a short space of time which will give you an indication of the speed of the network all right as you can see the orange and the blues are turning to blacks all right they're confirmed transactions and it shows you how quickly they're doing all right a couple of seconds really for most of them so yeah we'll come back to that and we'll have a look okay so Cody. So they're risking. They're, they're working with traveling. Uh, I'm sorry, Paywise is working with high-risk merchants, travel, gaming, gambling, e-gaming, CBD, financial products. All right, working with uh, the, the, uh, some of their clients. Uh, I'll get the examples are given in the video. All right, so you can skip. If you, if you go here, it's got all the time time scales for the video, the time points, if that's the right word, for the videos. Okay. So you can get examples of some of the clients that they're working with. I'm actually going to watch it after this, all right? But they've currently got 100 clients, okay? Um, the reason I put the video out before I watch this because a lot of you guys will be able to get it early, just as early as me. So, um, yeah, that's it. Um, you know, when you wait, the price can leave you behind, okay? I and mean, we don't want that. All right? So they're operating in several countries, US, Africa, Europe, Asia, Australia, Latin America, that's what you call mainstream adoption, right? Working with 24 banks all over the world, right? Uh, in several countries around the world, yeah? And obviously, they're gonna be hopefully trying to increase their market share and grow as a business anyway, so you could see more countries added to that list and all these are countries if Paywise are using, if Cody's is using Paywise, Cody is gonna be transacted through all of these countries. That's, that's mainstream adoption. So, uh, right, so what does Paywise do? What do you do it? What's the opportunity? So they handle credit card processing for merchants, all right, which is a very lucrative space, which we've already talked about. Leverages relationships with banks and merchants, offering an umbrella of services to merchants, and so on, right? It allows Koji Group to offer a full solution for merchants, crypto, and fiat. Now, one thing that Koji does is they, they, they've created a system which enables you to pay for goods and services with a credit card using any merchant service but you can actually use your crypto and then it will automatically uh, convert it into their currency of choice so whatever currency they're using uh, uh whether it be you know um uh okay if we look at the countries that it's using so whether it would be, be the australian dollar or one of the african dollars you know um europe you got the euros us you got the dollar asia you know depends on which part of Asia you're talking about maybe the Japanese yen or whatever 
if you pay on your card it will convert that automatically and if you're it doesn't matter what you're using whether it be crypto whether it be ethereum um uh, uh you know or, or or whatever just for example say card it will then convert it into their currency at with at a very low fee uh for exchange um so yeah it just takes the hassle out of crypto it takes the hassle out of having to transfer and sell this and move it and convert it to that and do all of that and then make the payment you know just pay with your card through any merchant merchant visa service and it will just do that straight away okay so people don't always need to understand what it is that they what it is that they're using for payments they just need to know that it works all right and and when you're investing in something like that there's a high potential for yielding gains because it's these things that are working in the background that, that adds to mainstream adoption you know because crypto is not one of the things that people are going to accept easily right uh, and not every restaurant or every uh, uh tanning salon or every uh you know nail bar or whatever right is gonna be that quick to adopt crypto if they feel like it might put customers off or it might be complicated to even think about you know where do you start and whatnot but if they know that there's you know an alternative method of payment which can increase their revenue and it can be done in the background without you even having to worry about whether they're paying in crypto or whatever i mean it's a it's a solution and code to me is the ultimate payments the grid for payments and it's, it's a payment solution that's quickly becoming interesting rivaling people like the, the likes of, of paypal and whatnot so that's definitely interesting the chart tells the story um you know people are buying Cody. all right the chart's going up people must be interested in it okay you can see if we go back to the cluster right so we can see how much oh look how much that's grown guys in the time that i've been talking to you look how much that's grown from that very small diagram or simulation all right that's Cody, guys Cody is definitely a long-term hold for me um, coin market cap is currently down all right uh, it has been for a little while well guys so yeah obviously uh, coin market cap is down so we just use coin gecko right? i normally use coin market cap because i do prefer it but uh yeah just let's just use coin gecko all right so you can see the price is currently at seven cents all right and the market cap is still low cap guys it's only 45 million and for a payment system and with, with what we see with paywise there's a lot of money going to be flowing through Cody, guys um it's currently ranked 174 on coin market cap and i believe that this is going to climb the rankings very quickly the all-time high is 22 cents okay and i believe that it can hit that quite easily uh, especially now at seven cents it's not that far away it only needs to go up like 200 percent to reach that again so we're only 200 percent away from the all-time high guys in terms of price action all right and i think that that's going to break pretty soon and once we do break that it's going to go into price discovery but like I said before, um, it's, it's not it's not really a fast mover, okay? But if we do break this level, I do expect that it might start moving a little bit more quickly, all right? Um, that's Cody, guys. If you look at the simulation, you can see, it reminds me of uh, the movie Venom, you know? I know it's just a simulation, guys, but it's, it's, it's interesting to just see how the technology works. Sometimes you get a big cluster right in the middle, all the payments are coming out of that, and it's creating this big old spiral this swell spiral of payments and it just doesn't stop does it guys so yeah i mean that's Cody guys um if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do me a favor and subscribe uh you can like the video that helps with the algorithm that gets the video a little bit more popular we need to get people knowing about Cody because this is a hidden gem it's a sleeping giant that not a lot of people are talking about for some strange reason you know we've got to be able to find these things before they take off before they become too popular because that's when we that's how we're gonna make our money guys we're getting in early you know early adopters all right comment down below let me know what you think as well guys and i guess i'll see you again in the next one